This is Twit. Now, should we get you going down looking for a phone? So is this a different phone? We just, like two weeks, one or two weeks ago, we talked about one phone. Is this a different one, Rob? I haven't heard of one phone. Who makes that one? Well, I, I, I think there is. I think there is a one phone, but... Yeah, uh, maybe. That's, we didn't talk about that You've got to listen one. to Android Faithful to learn more about that one. I guess. But yeah, I, I, I do bring up uh, Linux phones on here from time to time. Once or twice a year, it seems like. Because um, there's a lot more of them than you really kind of realize. Um, you know, and mainly the reason is because this is a future I, I really want to see happen. Um, you know, and, and this year, I, I'm bringing it up twice so far. Um, you know, and it's something I think it's something we really need. And, and there's no reason uh, we shouldn't have more mainstream Linux phones. So there are a handful of, of phone makers out there. You're trying to make it a thing. Unfortunately, they are all somehow mostly very forgettable. Um, you know, like we forgot what we just talked about a few weeks ago <laughs> or like this one, the fair phone. Um, I've heard of them before and I forgot about them, but I've heard about it again. And I looked into them now to see what they have announced here. So they just announced their Fairphone 6. And, you know, although I've heard of the Fairphone, I have forgotten all about them until now. So the new Fairphone still isn't as cheap as the Pine Phone, probably not as cheaply built either, but it is much, it is far more. Uh, cheaper, or should I say affordable, far more affordable than the, uh, quote, affordable phone option I brought up a couple weeks ago. Uh, this one coming in at around 695 US dollars. So besides being a phone that can run Linux, um, one of the great features of the Fairphone is that it's it has a focus on repairability. You know, being easy to take apart, swap out parts, and put back together. You know, unlike uh, these glued monsters that <laughs> most of us have today. And the specs of the Fairphone 6 should be a lot faster than, uh, you know, most computers. Uh, m- most of the old computers we used to have, you know, faster than what Ken is running today. Starting with being powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7S uh, Gen 3 processor. 8 gigs of RAM, 512 internal storage, expandable to 2 terabytes uh, via microSD, a 6.3 inch OLED 120 hertz display, 4,415 milliamp battery, lasts up to two days, they say. Mm-hmm. There's a 50 milliamp main uh, camera and a 13 or megapixels, I meant a 50 megapixel main camera and a 13 megapixel ultra camera so by default this phone isn't exactly a linux phone i thought that's what i was going into when i went down the 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 rabbit hole on this but um so out of the box it's not linux phone you know after reading the pharaonics article about this new linux phone i went to the site to find out more about it how can i purchase it where can i purchase it and all i could find were, were android options um you know, they have the regular one. They have a de Google Android one. So it's pretty cool. But uh, eventually, in their FAQ under the support section, I found that they provide detailed instructions to uh, install Linux on this phone. And the recommended way, you know, I haven't tried it, the recommended way sounds pretty easy, as they say the recommended way is to just do it through their Fairphone Updater app. Um, you know, I suppose that's like their software center, essentially. Um, which, unfortunately, the link in their FAQ <laughs> section, um, it goes to a dead link in the Google Play Store. Oh, it's not there. So I don't know if they just haven't updated their fact FAQ and it's it's somewhere else. And hopefully they still have it. It may be that as an American coming to the Play Store from the U.S., you will cannot get to that link. That is a thing that happens sometimes. Well, maybe so. So you know, if, if time to use a VPN, yeah. But but if that doesn't work for you, 
they continue with the directions on how to manually uh, do it. So although their Fairphone seems like a decent Android device, um, you know, even selling a degoogled version, I'm a little bit disappointed it doesn't come with Linux out of the box. But also, you know, it's great that they, they at least provide Linux tree drivers, you know, right out or on day one um, that is that has been released and, and directions, um, which I haven't had, been able to test because um, nobody's bought me one of these phones yet. Um, but there's directions that everyone, you know, you would need, hopefully everything you would need is there to, to upgrade it to Linux. Mm -hmm. um, I, I had hope for a little bit more, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, there's so there's some phone distros out there that you could totally put on this thing. Yeah, I mean, sure there are there are plenty of other more mainstream phones out there that you can pull Linux on, but they 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 don't make it as easy as this one is supposedly. So it seems like a a fairly standard spec phone could be could compete with uh, most of your phones today. I think. Mm -hmm. um, so you know it. It, no. it seems like potentially a good option. Do you think they could guarantee eight years of software support if they did ship it with uh, Linux on it by default? Um, I mean, you can't. Oh, you can guarantee stuff, but uh, <laughs> you can gonna, guarantee anything. You yeah. can promise anything, but you never know what the future brings. Uh, I, you know, if you could install Linux on it, I, I guess the only thing that uh, would stop it is. If uh, whatever you know, the hardware in there gets dropped from the kernel, and I won't see that happening in eight years at least, unless they're using some really old hardware, which from what I read, they're not. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's probably more uh, the the danger would more be that the the support never fully lands in the kernel at all. That would be the uh, that yeah, would okay. be the one to really worry about. Yeah. Uh -huh. Unless you had a hardware manufacturer helping to support that? I mean, even yeah. then, you can't guarantee that it's going to happen. But Yeah, I mean, we'll talk later on about how, how Linus, you know, <laughs> keeps things out of the kernel. <laughs> he didn't keep it out of the kernel this time. Just don't tr try to s submit it as a feature in the middle of a... Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, no, this <laughs> is a uh, this is interesting. The 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 almost Linux phone from Fairphone is definitely interesting. Yeah, when Fairphone's been around for a while. I've heard of them. You know, I hear here they're I up hear to six them. already. Yeah, yeah, they're already up to six. I do hear about them every few years and then forget all about them. And uh, you know, maybe. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>